Learn to love losing pennies. Again, the key is lose pennies to make dollars. And when they start confirming the ranges. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great uh, weekend. Hope everybody had uh, an amazing uh, trading day. And again, at the end of the day, guys, uh, everything is all fun, all great. The trading, this, that, the third. But again, if you're not healthy enough to enjoy it, uh, what is the point? And again, uh, like I said, every single day above ground is a good day. Anything that you can make yourself feel happier uh, and validate um, your loved ones and all your existence is just the cherry on top. So hopefully everybody is doing well. So let's talk about the tape. Um, last week we saw a you know, pretty aggressive uh, close uh, for Friday's action, more notably uh, the NASDAQ composite, and we'll just use the QQQ as a barometer. Um, you know, they pretty much set the tone. They reclaimed back uh, the 50 day moving average, okay, which was obviously super duper important. And then we started talking about levels that we needed to reclaim to the top of the channel. And now with today's rally and yet another really pretty big day today, uh, and we'll get to the individual pivots in a second, uh, we are literally, you know, we're literally stone throws away uh, from this 297 level uh, on the NASDAQ composite, or excuse me, on the QQQs. Uh, and this is super duper bullish, especially with all the earnings. Uh, that are coming out. If this was an ind any indication how earnings season is going to play out, and of course, you know, we're just speculating. We have no idea. Um, you know, the way Netflix came out with earnings, obviously not the greatest earnings in the world, but had this really magnificent reaction to earnings. Uh, another uh, day two rally today uh, as well. You have Microsoft tomorrow, right? Uh, we saw a, a pretty good amount of weekly uh, 250 calls uh, coming in. So some 260s, uh, not that far away. Uh, from expiration, uh, we saw Tesla today, which had another uh, really good move today. Uh, they were coming for the 150s, uh, the 150s, the 155s, the 160s uh, ahead of their earnings quarter on Wednesday. So if this is one of those scenarios that, again, uh, we survived 2022, every single company uh, is pretty much laying off, cutting staff, whatever the case may be. And if this is, turns out to be another quarter, they're discounting bad news, whether it's top or bottom line results, this could be actually a very, very good uh, aggressive quarter for technology. Uh, and this could really set the tone uh, for the whole year. As again, as, as I've been saying, since we reclaimed back the 50 day moving average, last year we lost 33%, right? Uh, is it so crazy? And I said this now three, four times uh, since that happened. Is it so crazy? We rebound 25, you know, 20, 25% uh, this year in the NASA composite. It's, it's not out of the realm of unbelievable or uh, un, you know un, un, unimaginable, it's you know that's what the market does. Again, going back uh, to some pretty uh, you know pretty horrific times, especially with uh, the COVID scare and everything else uh, in between. Tomorrow you have uh, manufacturing PMI, right? You have manufacturing service PMI. Uh, more data for the inflation front, but again, I, I don't think the tune of uh, the tune of the song is going to change. I don't think the disposition of the Fed is going to change. Some are seeing, uh, you know, a good taming inflation stat, you know, status. Others are talking about now, well, now things are, you know, now we believe uh, we could see rising road rates continuing into well into 2024. And now, uh, like we talked about in the weekend update, like, uh, you know, Waller is talking about, hey, by the way, I could see us uh, start cutting rates at some point. You know, again, what are they talking about? It's a dog chasing the tail uh, and vice versa. But again, the common denominator over and over and over again, especially in a scenario that we are above the 50 day moving average, continues to be strong action, right? Very, very strong action. Like I say, uh, every single day, you know, like we talked about it below the 50 day, and if this is your first time watching, again, thank you for taking your time to give us a few minutes, okay? Uh, if you can subscribe, like the video, we would really, really appreciate your support. If you wanna learn more about pivots, especially the way uh, I designed them about uh, 10, 11 years ago, uh, come aboard, you know, come aboard. I think it's some cool things. You could start looking at the market a little bit of different ways. And if you are uh, kind of trying to break away from the normal, I think pivots are a very uh, neat way to uh, doing so. But having said that, um, you know, look, I, I think two days the Nasdaq is up 
over 500 points. Is, is it possible we, we get an inside day tomorrow? Of course. I mean, absolutely possible. Again, I don't think the market is going to go up every single day. Uh, like we saw this, you know, we, like we saw five days move up, one aggressive move down, and now we have two more aggressive moves up, and now we are attacking the top of the range. So there, it, it, there is a scenario that I see uh, that the market maybe rests tomorrow, especially in the indexes. But the cool part about the, the market resting, it doesn't mean the stock's going to rest. And there's so many names that are either coming out of channels for tomorrow setting up or came out of channels today setting up that you're going to see, you know, you're still going to see pretty good uh, aggression to the upside. Uh, look, I, I think the key is stay away from stocks that had maybe a run, like a two day run from Netflix, right? You know, right? Because, you know, if, if the stock is going to get pulled, it's going to be something like this, you know, going from 313 to 360. But when you look at other names like NVIDIA that broke out really aggressively today, Tesla it, at one point didn't have a downtick till after, you know, till after three o'clock. Looks amazing. Look at the expansion volume today on this whole move ahead of earnings. Uh, when you have other uh, semiconductor names like AMD coming out of a channel, Micron coming to channel. It's not even just the semiconductor. It's not about just technology names. Look at a name like Etsy, right? Look at a name like Etsy is, is you know, for all you guys who are in the drop shipping, all that stuff. Look how good this damn thing looks. So the market looks good right now. It really, really does. Is it possible, you know, things turn on a dime and we're having a conversation. Well, I can't believe this market is getting back. So of course, we, we, again, we're not naive. I think the most important part is when you're in a trending cycle and for, you know, 80, 85% of 2022, that trending cycle was to the downside. Um, you know, we, we saw very, very aggressive predominant moves down. And the most important part was when I kept on echoing the, the theory of even in a bear market, when you saw 80% of the action to the downside, always keep in mind that you don't want to short the stock that was down 10 days in a row. That's the one that's going to reverse. So in a bullish scenario, you don't want to concentrate on tomorrow. And again, Netflix might just go bananas and go to 400 tomorrow. We don't know. But the point is, for me personally, I think there's better value than a Netflix. I mean, you know, maybe a day two run or day three run in NVIDIA, day, day before earnings potential confirmation on Tesla. You know, Amazon, look, you know, look, look at the call buyers coming in on Amazon today. Had, you know, Amazon, you can, make it, you can make a case study. They led this rally up. Today, it didn't really participate, only up a quarter, but boy, oh boy, Amazon went from 81 to 99 in a matter of five sessions. So if this thing could start waking up tomorrow, again, they were coming for the hundreds, the 102, the 105s uh, for the Februarys that's covering earnings. You know, this thing could, could spark up again. Look at a name, for example, like, uh, let me see what else I want to give you guys. Look at a name, for example, like NET, right? This is kind of my point of, you know, leaving alone the Netflixes of the world and concentrate on the names that are just coming out of the channel. So again, if you aren't going to be wrong, and I use this analogy uh, so many times, if you're going to be wrong, and you're going to jump out, out, of a, out of a window, jump out of the first floor. So if it stalls out at the top of the range here, you're losing tw you know, 20, 30 cents. Don't jump out, right? Don't jump out of the 25th floor that you could be losing dollars. Again, always remember the key formula in this business, especially trading technology, you, you want to respect levels, both the top and the bottom. If they, start, if they start stalling out at the top, right, learn to lose pennies, right? If they start losing, you know, st start getting stuck and there's reload buyers at the bottom, learn to, fig learn to love losing pennies. Again, the key is lose pennies to make dollars. And when they start confirming their ranges, uh, usually good things are going to happen. So again, I'm always cautiously optimistic, uh, especially in a bull side environment above the 50 day moving average, the same kind of, you know, the same kind of message we talked about uh, on the weekend update. Yeah, I'm bullish going into tomorrow. Do I think the indexes have to be up? No, I don't think so. I think there's you know always a shot considering the NASDAQ just went up 500 points in two sessions. Is there a shot the NASDAQ goes down 100, 150 points, to maybe 200 points? Sure, absolutely. But the continued theme is in the right direction. I'm going to stick to the ones uh, that are jumping, potential jumping out of the first floor instead of the 31st floor. And the key is, again, always stay in business. So let's talk about today. Uh, pretty, you know, pretty clean, aggressive day. Um, I didn't put in, you know, I didn't put in 600 different pivots today. Uh, I pretty much put in stocks that were coming out of the ranges, 
had some option flow, names that we trade, names that we follow, names that we set alerts for. Again, you can see it's literally, for the exception of Lucid, and we'll get to Lucid in a second, for the exception of Lucid, it's the same names I trade every single day. I'm, I'm literally, I would say throughout the year, I'm literally trading the same stocks 85, 90% of the time. Again, you, you know their, you know, you know their history, uh, you know their average true range, uh, you know their tendencies, you know what stocks are better or more advantageous to trade into strength, you know what stocks are more advantageous uh, to trade into weakness, and that's how you start developing your little niche, and that's my little, uh, and that's my little uh, kind of go-to area, and as you can imagine, the majority of the trades are going to be constantly the same thing over and over again. So let's talk about this. So uh, NVIDIA, uh, initially I had this on the email update, uh, an email update over the weekend. Uh, initially I had it at 178.75, but obviously that wasn't going to happen. You know why? Because the stock got upgraded this morning, right? The stock got upgraded this morning. It was up three pre-market and above $3, there's the pivot. Uh, draw down the tier size only because again, you don't want to chase the stock over and over again. If you're trading at the strength, that's exactly what happened today. Uh, 181.65 rejected twice, needs to build. I would say NVIDIA built, right? I don't know if I'm call me crazy, but I would say NVIDIA built. So here is the here's the ones, you know, 160, uh, one, uh, what was it? Uh, one, uh, one, um, 81 60s area. And just the stock had a reload seller. I screwed up the trade a little bit, a lot. Uh, but you know, NVIDIA, you know, had a reload seller here, but when it finally cleaned them up, boy, look at this run on the video. Absolutely huge. Uh, Meta, nice little pop on Meta, 140 needs to build. Here was Meta, All right? So it took, out, it took out the 140, right? Took out this whole range here. It took out the 140. Uh, 140 was the highest from January the 20th. Took out the 140, traded all the way up to almost uh, 44. Uh, Google, again, continues to be a beast. They had that, uh, they had that announcement, cut uh, workforce on Friday, continuation from Friday's uh, move. You have 9830 uh, needs to build. Here was Google, right? So it took out the 9830. 9830 was Friday's channel's high. Started building above 9830. Uh, went all the way to 100. Uh, I think this thing start. You know, I think there's a shot if this market continues. Uh, it tests the top of the channel here of 102, right? Uh, Microsoft, nice move ahead of earnings. Uh, 4240 needs to build. My runner got stopped out when they pulled the tape a little bit uh, in the afternoon, but nice move here. 42, uh, 4240s needs to build, traded all the way up to 245. Again, they report tomorrow uh, after the close. Uh, Tesla is was definitely, definitely the move of the day. Uh, 137.50. Uh, needs to build. That's the 118 pre-market highs needs to confirm. And if you're watching Tesla right now after the close, it is trading uh, all the way up into the 145s, uh, testing uh, testing uh, the day highs. So here is the here is the 118. You see this 118 highs here, 137.50, right? That's the 118 highs I was talking about. So it took out the January 18 highs, and it was literally. A staircase to heaven uh, went all the way up into the almost the 46 area where it's trading right now. I think there's one more run at this thing. If they, you know, I think there's a shot, right? I think there's a shot ahead of Wednesday night's earnings that if if this thing somehow opens up red, uh, you know, red tomorrow, and this thing traps shorts at the bottom of the range going red to green, who knows? Maybe this thing could maybe this thing could run up to 152, 153 ahead of earnings. Again, this market is so out of control right now. Uh, anything is possible. So huge, huge move there on Tesla. And here's Lucid. Again, Lucid, here's a perfect example of the options market dictating the stock once it confirms a daily uh, daily channel. Uh, Lucid 850 needs to build. Uh, they were coming for short-term expiration for the nines, the 950s. And here is Lucid. Big, big move here uh, into the close. Big move here into the close almost that $9 area. I'm telling you, this thing confirms $9 tomorrow in the next couple of days, man. This thing could could absolutely run. So listen, market's strong. Uh, the market is strong. The action is strong. Uh, the key is, again, don't, you know, don't trade with rose-colored glasses, guys. Don't chase stocks that already had their multi two, three, four, five day moves. Wait for the bottom of the range. If that bottom range confirms, that's where you wanna take your swings because the last thing you wanna do is jump out of that 25th floor because I promise you, you will not survive. Guys, stay blessed, stay healthy, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.